Barrett, explain the B list. I no, freeze. Yeah. No, you're good. You're good. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh. Uh, yeah, explain this right here. Yeah. 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 Oh, what do you no. got? What do you got? The crapping giant? out. The giant, yeah, Barrett's okay. crapping out here. All right. I got Chiefs at five. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I kind of wanted to uh, change it a little bit, but I'm not. Uh, okay. I promise this will be the last B list based off record. Okay. Because personally, I think the Bills are better than the Eagles, but whatever. Eagles haven't lost a game. I know Nick Lamb, whatever. Chiefs, right. I believe, are better than the Vikings, but Vikings have only lost one game. But I promise you, this will be the last time. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to go from the heart, from the actual goodness of the team, because we're in the meat of the schedule now. And records, they may not matter all that much, but they still do matter. So I got the Chiefs at five. You know, they took a hard loss to the Bills. They should have beaten the Bills, but they didn't because my home's threw a pick. All right. Vikings, I believe this will be their last week on the B list because they're going to start choking down the stretch. All right. But they are five and one. Good for them. They still stink, in my opinion. Giants, dude. Hey, look at the G man. I know you're mad, Seth, but hey, Dallas, they took an L, dude. They took an L to the Eagles. But do you think Dallas is better than the top five teams? We might get into that. But the G-Men have beaten pretty good teams. They've beaten the Titans, Bill. They've beaten the Ravens. Like, you can't hate on the Giants. Beat, the Cowboys beat them. Okay, but the Giants also beat Packers in London. So, like, it's crazy. Giants are a good team, dude. And you won't find the Giants on, like, a top five list. People are putting the fucking Jets there for some reason in some top five list. It makes no sense to me. All right. Number two is the Bills. One loss only to Miami. I mean, they haven't really been dominating. Like, they didn't dominate the Ravens. They had to come back. They didn't really dominate the Chiefs. They did dominate Steel Town, though, which was funny. But, uh, but yeah, Bills are number two. I think Bills are better than the Eagles. Well, whatever. Eagles still undefeated. Still number one. I mean, they're just grinding it out. I mean, what ha what happened, Seth? Uh, it why well, I'm in the Dallas there. What do you mean? The Eagles, listen to me. The Eagles are frauds. Okay. Oh. We, get Dak back, we get Dak back. We win that game. We gave him the ball three times in our own territory. They came up with 26 points. Um, doesn't matter. You know, it's a gimme game. You can have that one. When you come to Dallas later in the year, we're going to spank the Eagles' ass. Who's a bigger yeah. fraud, Seth? Who's a bigger fraud? The Vikings or the Eagles? Oh. I, I'm going to go with the Eagles. Okay. You could have thrown the Giants in there, too, but everyone thinks the Giants are fraud. More people think the Giants – people are saying, like, the Giants are the – this is the worst 5-1 and one team of all time. That's kind of messed up. Well, you I got, think you messed gotta remember, up. You got to remember a couple years ago when the Steelers started off 11-0. and 0, Okay. And then, and then lost enough. three – and lost their last – they went 3-3 three and three in their last six. But look. But look how they're playing. They're just playing normal, protecting the ball, hard-nosed football, well-coached, not a lot of penalties, and they're just beating people. Like, you can't really hate on that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, see, it's long season. Go ahead, chop it up. What do you think? I mean. Long season, so the G-men will definitely be tested. So let me ask you: If the Giants, if the Giants win ten games, do you sign Daniel Jones? Oh, absolutely not. Daniel Jones is—he's not the reason they're winning games. He's absolutely not. It's Saquon Barkley in that defense. The Giants have a great defense, man. I can—I can promise you, it's not Daniel Jones. What? Daniel Jones. <laughs> Big ball the. Pull. Big ball the ball? He's I'm about to Oh man, I don't know why the fuck they're winning games. Listen to this. According to PFF, <laughs> Vance Duke... would love the Jones on the Saints. Vance would oh, love Daniel man, Jones dude. on the Saints. Duke quarterback? Come on, dude. Duke. Yeah. Duke, I'm mid, a mid school. I don't, a mid -school. I don't see how the Giants keep winning games. They have the 21st best offense in the NFL. 21st. They are 
They are at the 27th best defense in the NFL, and they are tied at 27th in special teams. They don't deserve to be 5-1, and one, but they keep fucking doing it. Yeah, it is if you want to look at the top five, then I think the Giants are definitely the biggest frauds. Um, the Bills are the best team in the NFL. And I think the Eagles 6-0 start or 7-0, or so whatever it is, is a result of a pretty easy schedule. I mean, they got the Vikings, they beat them, big whoop. They beat Cooper Rush, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Like I said, we'll come back. We'll, we're going to win. They beat us fair and square, whatever. But uh, I think I think that last week's game, though, gave Buffalo the, the number one seed and home field advantage for the rest of the playoffs. Because that's it. I mean, where would you rather not play, Vance? Would you rather not play in Buffalo or Kansas City? I would rather not play in Kansas City. Like if if I'm rolling into the AFC and I and I, dude, I I don't know your question was kind of confusing. I don't want to go to Arrowhead to play an NFL playoff game. That's what I, I mean. Like, like, which one do you I, not want to go to? I worded it. Like I shit, feel like there man. are plenty of teams that can roll into Buffalo and 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 not dominate, but pick up a win. But rolling into Arrowhead, that's that's the loudest stadium in the NFL, dude. That's a hard place to win, especially in the cold in the playoffs. I know Buffalo; it's 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 freezing cold. And it snows in the playoffs, but Kansas City's a different environment, man. I mean, we've seen it the last three years. Kansas City made AFC Championship Super Bowl appearances. It's because it's running through Arrowhead. I don't think I don't think we'll get the same results if it runs through Buffalo. We could, but we don't know. We haven't seen it yet. Because Kansas City runs runs the AFC. And I I I think this year it's gonna run through Buffalo. And I hopefully it works out. But I feel like there are teams like Kansas City who can go into Buffalo and get a win. We, I mean, we saw it. They only lost by four and had a drive to win. Right. I, Buffalo crowd, kind of crazy. The, the Bills Mafia, dude. Bills Mafia. Dude. Imagine f- number one seed, Bills Mafia. Roll. You got you to gotta go to the AFC Championship in Buffalo. They're putting everything and everyone through tables. <laughs> I mean, nobody's safe. If you're walking around with a kid, you hold on tight, man. I'm telling you, that kid might go through a table. It's you don't wild wanna, in Buffalo. Yeah, you don't want to go to Buffalo. Uh, like, now, they may not be as loud as Kansas City, but, like, I'd rather go to Buffalo if there's no snow, obviously. But the weather can be way worse in Buffalo, so I would not want to go there. Now, Kansas City is just bad in general but i think with the snow effect hell it can snow in kansas city though it has before so uh, you don't want either of those teams to have the number one seed but fuck one's going to dude yeah. <laughs> and if and if it if it just randomly so happens to run through la let's say the chargers are on the table if it happens to run through LA, they're not, they're not. Charger, Charger's Whoa. gonna get bounced, get bounced their first playoff game because of LA. Dude. It's such a it's such a friend they're four and two. It's such a friendly environment. They're on a three game win streak. <laughs> yeah, they, they're squeaking so, wins out, man. They're squeaking. <laughs> they so are the Giants. <laughs> well, the Giants are five and one though. They're beating good teams here. <laughs> win I don't the know. Division. There's no way to beat the Chiefs. Chargers have beaten the Jags and the Texans and shit.